Roberson be bowling? That was the issue just before the Fiesta Bowl's kickoff. K-State's quarterback accused of sexual assault one night before the game against Ohio State. But Coach Bill Snyder said just before kickoff that Roberson would be his starting quarterback against the Buckeyes. The direction that we have taken is that, you know, we all believe that they are not just allegations and consequently that makes it a little bit easier to fathom. But it's still been a distraction. There's no doubt about that. And how we handle it remains to be seen. Well, let's see. First quarter, Jared Bright punting here, and it is blocked by Harlan Jacobs. John Hollins takes it into the end zone, and it's 7-0 OSU. How would Roberson respond to even more adversity? Well, not too well. Down 14-0 second quarter, picked off here by Chris Gamble, who said after the game he is going pro. He won't be back in Columbus. Roberson completed only three of his first 13 passes. 21-7 Buckeyes in the third. Roberson, there's Gamble again. But pass interference called. Jim Tressel says, hey, that was not a catchable ball. Well, Jim Tressel didn't agree, so the drive stays alive. Roberson keeps it. He carried 16 times, 32 yards. It's 21-14. Ohio State, Wildcats back within seven. Later in the third, Craig Krenzel for Michael Jenkins. Krenzel, 11 of 24, 189, and four touchdowns. Buckeyes back up by two scores. Just over eight minutes left. Roberson into the corner. Jermaine Morera. This is a catch. But it's ruled incomplete. What happened? Marrera, well, arrow his right foot here. That is not in bounds. No catch. The drive would end with a missed field goal for Bill Snyder. Fourth quarter, third and goal. Roberson gets his helmet twisted all around by Robert Reynolds. Looking through the ear hole there. That results in a first and goal. And he'll take it in on the next play. And K-State back again. It's a seven-point game. Just over a minute left now. Roberson and the Wildcats have one more shot from their own five. Over the middle, David Dennis. Roberson, 20 of 52, 294. On the run here. Morera again. This time he's definitely got a foot inbounds. First down. Later in the drive, Bill Snyder complaining the referees are starting the clock before the chains are set. Six seconds left. Hail Mary. It's the old heave ho play. <laughs> and it's knocked down, and Ohio State wins its second straight Fiesta Bowl, 35 28. Krenzel wins his second straight bowl MVP award. Ohio State, the fifth straight winner to put at least 31 on the board in this game. The Buckeyes have now won consecutive bowl games for the first time since the mid-80s. It was also Ohio State's 13th win by seven points or fewer over the past two seasons. That's the most. In Even if you count yourself among the most devout of the Buckeye nation. One who will find fault in a 20-point win or a two-loss season. Yeah. Even if you find yourself among that legion who waved the scarlet and gray, you must, absolutely must, give it up for the Buckeye football team, especially the seniors that concluded the season last night in the Fiesta Bowl. I know, back-to-back -back national championships would have been preferred. I know that's what you wanted, but come on, add just a dash of realism to the picture. Tonight we take a look at one heck of a football program and a team for two wonderful seasons. Another Buckeye win in a, in a Buckeye fashion, I guess the best way to say it. You know, we, don't, we don't like to blow teams out or you know, we like to play it close, I guess, down the wire. Another close game and another Buckeye win. Seems to be a way of life in Columbus where they have these things to consider. Friday's Fiesta Bowl win improved OSU's record to 25-2 and two the last two seasons. And what a two years they were. They were led by 26 seniors that won more games in two seasons than any of the class before them. Seniors that captured the school's first national championship in 35 years and the first class to win back-to-back -back bowl games since 1986. They were spearheaded by Craig Krenzel, who fittingly went out as a winner, racking up 24 wins in his 27 starts and tossing four touchdowns in his last game as a Buckeye. You know, it's exciting. You know, I feel uh, that there's no other way that this senior class uh, should go out. Um, you know, we... We didn't reach some of the goals we wanted to, but uh, coming into tonight's game, it was we were playing for our pride. We were playing for uh, you know a win to go out on top. It was a pride that produced spirited play. Senior Michael Jenkins became the school's all-time leading receiver, and then passed the torch to freshman Santonio Holmes, who cut two touchdown passes of his own last night. On defense, lineman Will Smith, Tim Anderson, and Darian Scott suffocated K-State's vaunted running attack for 60 minutes. These are seniors leaving Columbus champions, along with a junior who also played his last game in the scarlet and gray. 
I'm entering the draft next year. You are? This yeah. is your last game? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No change in your mind? No, I mean, I had a good, good three years here. I mean, I think I'm ready to play on the next level, and I just want to play against the best. And you know what? They'll be right back at it again next year. That's why they are the Ohio State University. Still to come on the show.